Corey's Stories is powered by Interlock Broadheads. With over 20 years' experience in the outdoor community, Corey has been able to bottle up some amazing memories. It's time to open up that bottle and share with you Corey's Stories. I've got so many stories throughout my career. Um, some before I had TV shows, some after, and even some during. One of those stories that really stick out in my mind that I want to share with you today is about a country music artist that um, really impressed me, and that's the story about Tracy Lawrence on season one of Interlocks Out There. How you doing, man? Good, man. Corey Brossman. Good to meet you, Corey. Good to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. About you. Well, I don't believe everything he tells you right there. Don't believe yeah, anything he tells you. you. <laughs> Good to be here, man. Ready to kill big deer? I'm ready. Let's go. Let me get my gun sighted in. Yep, we'll be ready. We'll go right to the range. Gotcha. We're going to the range with Tracy and Mark and Ryan and Jeff. We see what this old country boy can do with a gun. Let's see. Come on. We were going to meet up at the Tecumani Ranch, and uh, Ryan Foster was there um, running the ranch at the time. He had everything lined up. He took Tracy and I. Uh, to the gun range we got got his gun all sighted in and uh, you know ready to go and then Ryan immediately took us out to the blind just put your lay finger on it and just ease it off there you go yeah that, that gun shoots good <laughs> see this right here yep. this is your group now that that this that is right that there, gun you just shot yep. right there at 200 yards yeah puts it right there. Okay. One of the things that I remember about this hunt that was so funny was, you know, Tracy, I don't think at the time had killed a whole lot of deer and didn't do a whole lot of hunting, but was really intrigued by it. So, you know, he was new to the sport. We climbed up in the blind and I think he thought that I or Ryan was going to load the gun for him and neither one of us did. And we just got here in South Texas, just got in the blind, man, just finished sighting the gun in. And we get up in the box and there's a beautiful eight point standing right in the middle of the road. So he's uh, he's got his head down right now. I'm gonna let Ryan tell me whether I can shoot him or not. This could be the 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 sweetest hunt ever, dude. Like could be the quickest hunt ever. Yeah. It's just I think like, it might make ranch history. Look, he's got his head up, got his head up. Oh yeah, he is a nice one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is a nice one. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? You wait for him to pick his head up and come a little closer, and uh, we'll be shooting pigs and javelinas, <laughs> folks, the rest of the hunt. <laughs> I didn't even have a chance to get a chair. What well, beautiful country it is out here, man. It is. And there's lots of massive deer out here, but, you know, this is a good way to start. Well, this big 10 pointer steps up, comes walking in, and uh, Tracy, everybody ready? Squeezes the trigger, and the gun don't go off. <laughs> that was practice shot. Was just All right. Okay. We're good. That was good I, I, practice. I wish you'd get out of that, that shade anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was good practice. You squeezed it beautifully, Tracy. I know, I squeezed it. <laughs> it out. No way, Jose. I love it. That was great. The deer got to live a little longer. Okay. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Go ahead. You got him. Right. Same. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that sucker's like a trick. It's out. It's a little land. <laughs> Woo! Good shot, man. He dropped right in. Nice to meet you. <laughs> wow. He dropped like a dog. Perfect. Let's go look at it. Perfect. 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 Per
I get so nervous now, I breathe hard, it's like I have to... <laughs> uh, absolutely. It's still one of the most exhilarating things to do in life. You know, no matter how many times you go, my heart still races. I have to catch my breath a little bit. I just bought a bow last year. It's kind of what I want to start getting into. I've never bow, I haven't bow hunted yet, but it's something I want to start doing. Oh, wow. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Nice one. Just a little high. Hold on, Corey. Let me get that. Tall. Look at the neck on him. What a pretty deer. Big old body. <laughs> wow. Yep. My That's first awesome. Takamati deer, man. How about that? Beautiful. Good deal. I tell you what, it's got to be pretty healthy. That right there, my friends, is what deer plots will do for you. <laughs> we got 10 of these plots, 10 of these, and 8. What do you think? Five years old? Yeah, five years old, sure. How do you tell? You're looking down there, there's two of them. Back down right there. See, oh, yeah. See how worn they are down there? Yeah. We'll look at them back in camp and see how much. But he's worn down there. Beautiful deer, man. Great deer. Great Absolutely. Deer Thank you, man. Uh, a lot of fun there with uh, with Tracy uh, hunting, but where the real fun started was after he tagged out. Um, you know, we went back and kind of got to know each other a little bit. And, and that night, I remember sitting around the fire. Um, Paint me a Birmingham was such a great song, one of my all-time favorites. And I didn't know much about the song. But I remember sitting around the campfire asking Trace, asking Tracy. Uh, what the hell is a Birmingham? What does this song mean? He's just a little better. You know, there's one thing since, I, since I've known your music and stuff like that and heard this song. Okay. And I won't bug you no more tonight about country music. But there's one question I've been dying to ask since, since, since you uh, got into camp. I want to know what's a Birmingham? I'll tell you under one condition. What's that? You sing the chorus for me. <laughs> All right, I can do that. <laughs> I'll see you. I want you to do it right now. All right. You mean the part where it just kind of goes like, you did the, anything you want. Just sing a couple lines. Come on. I'm going to give it my best shot. Come on. All right. Paint me a Birmingham. That's the only part I really know. It's the only part that's in my It's like embedded in my head. I think well, you want well, to help, help me out. I'm going to tell you what a Birmingham is right now. A Birmingham is a metaphor for that place in your life that you want to get back to, man. A Birmingham can be anybody. Anytime, any place. If you've ever had your heart broke and you dream about getting back with that one love that you desperately wish you had done differently, uh -huh. Birmingham is that place, man. Oh, that's cool. It's any place in the United States, it's wherever your heart takes you, man. That's cool. Real cool. <laughs> you know, See, now you can't song. edit that out. I've been, listen, no, I got, I've been listening to that song for a long that's time. That's another one of my favorite stories from my career. Um, you know, Tracy Lawrence, great guy. You know, go on iTunes, buy his music. He's got some amazing songs. He continues to to tour and, and do some things uh, to this day. Um, and I would love to share the woods once again with Tracy Lawrence and get back out there because I've been working on my um, on my singing ability as well. So the next time it'll be more like, paint me a Birmingham. Sound good, right? And beautiful. The hunt was real cool. I enjoyed it a lot. I met a lot, a lot of great people out here. And you know, for me, the outdoors is as much about the hang with the people that are here as, as it is about the hunt. <laughs> saw some incredible deer. Uh, we saw several monsters out here on the property. Uh, proud that I took a nice ten point. Looking forward to getting him mounted and getting him up on the wall. And, and uh, hopefully get a chance to come back to talk about next year, man. What an incredible place. There's, Sure, some monster deer out here in South Texas. Corey Stories is proud to support these great partners. Wildlife, influence your legacy. Excalibur Crossbows, 
Luminoc, light them up. Mike's Archery, Boomerax Air Guns, AMS Bow Fishing, Black Widow Deer Lures, Scent Thief, Outdoor Edge Knives and Tools. Corey Stories is brought to you by these fine sponsors.